Did you know that dripping taps and leaking toilet systems waste up to 100 million litres of water a year at a cost to the council of around $50,000? Hi, oh, I'm Austin from the Porridge City Council. I'm just going around from house to house to see if anyone's got any dripping taps or leaking toilet systems. Yes, please come in. First thing we need to do is to find your toe, which is usually found in front of your boundary. So what you'll need for this is a flathead screwdriver to lever up the lid of the Toby box. So once you lever that off, you just turn that off clockwise. Once you have turned off your Toby, you want to go to your outside tap and turn that on. So it lets all the water drain out of your pipes in your house. So the tools you'll need for this is an adjustable crescent, a flathead screwdriver, pair of multis and a 15 mm washer. So what you want to do first before you start taking your tap assembly apart, you want to grab your kitchen sink plug so nothing drops into the sink while you're taking it apart. Now what you want to do is to grab your uh, multis and you want to adjust it to the right size where it could grab onto this nut and you turn that and then you just unwind it with your hand. Now what you want to do is grab the adjustable crescent to undo this nut. And then the handle pops up. Once you've done that you can undo the body cover. Sometimes the body cover may be real tight so if it is, grab your pair of multis, adjust it to the right size again and grip it real tight on the body and then you turn it anti-clockwise to undo it. So once you've loosened it you'll be able to wind it up off. Then now what you want to do is grab your adjustable crescent and you see these rigid lines you just adjust it to the suitable size make it on and then you undo it anti-clockwise and you just unscrew that once you've brought it out now you can see where your washer is now what you want to do from here is grab your adjustable crescent grab the end of the washer and just undo that nut loosely and then you'll be able to unloosen with your fingers now once you've undone that nut just wind it up a bit so you can grab the end of the washer with your hand and pull that washer off once that washer's off just put the grab your new washer and put that on the end of it once you've done that, put the nut back on. Once you've screwed the nut on, grab your crescent, adjustable crescent, and just give that nut a little tighten. Screw the washer all the way out again. Once you've done that, pop it back into your tap, wind the body back in, grab your handle again, Pop that back on. Then you grab your little nut again. Screw that on. Grab your adjustable crescent just to give that a tighten. And then what you want to do is grab your end cap nut and screw that back on. There you have rewashed your tap.